Catherine Herridge joining us now from CBS News. Do we know, Catherine, how the Pentagon is handling the possibility of insider threats? Well, a short time ago, we heard from the acting Secretary of Defense, Chris Miller, and he confirmed that they don't have specific and credible intelligence about an insider threat involving the National Guard during the inauguration, but they are still calling on the FBI to do vetting of the National Guard members in case there are individuals who would take action on that day. And the reason we've come to this point is about two dozen current or former law enforcement or military have so far been arrested uh, for allegations of going into the Capitol or supporting efforts to breach the Capitol on the 6th. And I think that's so surprising for people because you see uh, the stress and in some cases the pain that some of those members of the Capitol Police were under as they were trying to push that crowd back. Mm -hmm. Catherine, I know that you've covered every inauguration from 9-11 on in this period of time. How does covering this one compare? And if you had to guess, what will happen on Wednesday? Is it likely to be a pretty peaceful day in Washington? Well, I've been covering these events. They're called National Special Security Events, or NSSEs, since 2001. And what makes this one different, Lisa, is the expanded security footprint around the Capitol and the number of days that it's in place. This is probably the most hardened security target that I've ever seen in two decades here in Washington, D.C. I don't like to speculate, but what I would say based on conversations is that there is concern among law enforcement about something they call sort of bumper shot terrorism or bumper shot violence. And what that means in simple terms is that if you have a very hardened target like the Capitol, you might have bad actors decide that it's too difficult to breach, and so they turn their attention to these so-called softer targets, which would be outside of Washington, D.C., Lisa. And we will hope it is peaceful on Wednesday and, and going forward. Catherine Herridge from CBS News, thank you so much for your reporting and your insight. We appreciate it.